After countless delays, the heists are finally here, but a question a lot of people have been asking is if the wait was actually worth it. To be honest, heists can be experienced in two different ways. The first way is how heists were intended to be played. Orgies. Second, unfortunately, is how 90% of your game will be played. So was the wait worth it? Hell no. But before we jump to any conclusions, let's take a look at everything this update has to offer. Just before we look at the heist, this 4GB update also includes an array of new clothes, weapons, vehicles, objectives, and even a new game type. A lot of the content can only be accessed by completing the heist, but for the stuff that can be purchased immediately, it's quite entertaining. One of the new weapons is a flare gun that you can either use to show your friends your location or catch them on fire. The color of the flare depends on the weapon skin you equip, so this makes for a neat addition to the Grith of Thotto arsenal. This update also adds new objectives to complete in free mode. Daily objectives can force you to try new things, which can be fun, or you could take on helicopters and drug trucks for Trevor. The new set of clothing varies from heist outfits just to general unique clothes, and at last we can finally wear gloves with any outfit we're wearing. I'm not one for the matchmaking game types on GTA, but the adversary mode can be fun. The new vehicles are extraordinary, but we'll get back to them later. Let's finally talk about the heist. There are five heists in total, and four of them require four players to start. The first heist only takes two players, and it's quite fun, actually. You get to learn the basics of setting up a heist. As the leader, you have to pay to start up each heist, but you can also set the percentages of everyone else's cut in the final stage. After completing your first heist, you're hyped to do more. Sadly, it'll probably take you a week like myself to do so. This is where heists immediately go downhill. If you're not playing with three other friends who are mic'd up, there's almost no hope. It's impossible to complete even a single setup with strangers. The mission will fail after you run out of lives or a player leaves, and this will happen constantly. You have no idea how mentally retarded some of these people are who play this game. If you're not mic'd up, then you shouldn't be allowed to play heists. The heists rely on teamwork, and if you fail to be a team player, then I hope your father gets raped. Welcome. The other game has made me as mad as playing heist. I like to consider myself a casual gamer, and if I can barely complete a single heist in spring break, then I can't imagine anyone else getting too far. The only reason it took me so long to make this video is because I wanted to make sure I played every heist before doing so. But not all the flaws could be blamed on playing with strangers, it could even be hard to start a match with three other buddies. It seems that this update also made it extremely hard to join games, and even loading screens are longer. I want to play heist, not Cloud Simulator 2015. It's probably going to take another 4GB update just to fix some of these bugs. Anyways, if you're lucky enough to play through the rest of the heist, there's some really extreme moments to enjoy. Probably my favorite moment is stealing a jet from an aircraft carrier and listening to the highway to the danger zone. Usually each heist has around 5 or so setup missions before you can do the actual heist. These include stealing wicked vehicles such as the Technical, Valkyrie, Insurgent, and maybe even the best plane in the game, the Hydra. Hail Hydra. The final of every heist is a lot of fun if you have the right people. You'll either be breaking into a bank, stealing from Meriwether, or even breaking an insane convict from prison. Probably the best part of this update is the vehicles, but Rockstar could have easily added these to the game without including the heist. It's a shame you have to beat the heist the vehicles are related to before you can even get the option to buy them. If the heist didn't require playing with three other people, then they'd probably be more fun and enjoyable. In the future, I hope Rockstar adds either three or less player heist, or a system where NPCs can play the role of another player. Until then, Rockstar's heist get a 4 out of 10. I know the heist might be free, but until there's an update that actually fixes them, my opinion isn't going to change. Well guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Orgies!